One of the questions I hear over and over again from educators transitioning to online teaching is, how do I convert my workbook pages and activity sheets into a digital format? How do I create digital worksheets that students can type in? With so many schools moving from paper and pencil to digital materials, this process can be a huge sticking point. So in today's video tutorial, I'll walk you through an easy way to make worksheets into writable digital documents using Google Slides. First, you can see that I have a PDF version of a worksheet that I'd like to assign to my students. It has multiple pages and I just wanna share this one. So it's in PDF format, kids can't write on it. What I want to do is take a screen capture or an image of the page. On my Mac, the keyboard shortcuts that I use are Command Shift 4. When I do that, I get these crosshairs and I'm able to drag across the page to highlight the area of the screen I wanna capture. If you're on a PC, then you'll wanna use a similar process to do a screen capture or screen grab. Uh, the most important thing to remember is when it saves, you'll wanna make sure that it's saved as either a PNG or a JPEG. These are photo file formats. I've got mine saved here. I've renamed it so that I can find it later. It's called Math Sheet. And once I've done that, I'm going to go over to my Google Slide Deck that I have opened up here, just a blank Google Slide Deck. And first thing you'll not notice is that the size of the sheet is pretty wide. The size of the worksheet that I wanna assign is a regular size piece of paper, eight and a half by 11, going the other direction. So I'm going to go up to File and page setup. This will allow me to choose custom in terms of my page size and the size of the sheet that I wanna use is eight and a half by 11. You can always change the size um, for any size worksheet that you need. Once I hit apply, I can see now that my worksheet is the same size as the, the math sheet that I wanna use. Um, First thing though I need to do in order to create the worksheet is delete the text boxes that are already here. So you can click on each one of those and delete them. Once your page is empty, you'll wanna click on the background button up above. You can choose an image from your computer. And here again, I'll look for the image that I had saved of the math worksheet. I'll select that, there it is. My worksheet has been uh, populated into the background of my slide. And the best part is uh, when students go to click on things, they can't move or delete or mess with anything. Now, the next step is to create a text box for students to type in. So I go up to my format bar, click on the text box and drag to create a rectangle. For younger students, what I recommend is that you highlight the edges of the box so they know that it's there and they can type in it. You could even choose to fill it in with a, a light color so students know, again, that it's there. For older students though, you could skip this step, save yourself a little time and ask the older kids to create their own text boxes. It's brilliant. Um, now to quickly duplicate these, you can click them, you can copy using your keyboard shortcuts and paste and just drag the boxes where you need them to be. Now, the process we've just gone through is really useful for moving traditional paper pencil tasks online. Think about how you could take another image, really any image, and make it the background of your slide, adding text boxes or shapes for students to uh, work on. Here I've created uh, a simple diagram or labeling activity. The um, picture is the background and the text boxes are where I want students to type. So there you have it. You're just a few clicks away from an amazing digital worksheet to keep your kids learning online. With Google Slides, there are so many options. So get creative and enjoy. Good luck.